Welcome back to the Fool Show. Of course, I'm Foolish Phil. Just talking a little bit uh, about college football. Today, the college football playoff was announced. And, of course, Michigan, they had their announcement of the bowl game. So, just give you a couple thoughts on that. Starting off with the playoff. Obviously, how, you go undefeated, you're going to make the playoff unless you're Central Florida, right? So, Clemson, Ohio State, and LSU. Clearly in good old... Um, Oklahoma took care of Baylor in overtime against their back third string quarterback. So I'm not really sold on Oklahoma. That's just me. But they get a chance. And that just brings up the point. Obviously, I prefer a four-team playoff to the two-team BCS model. But I wish we could mold or meld, meld the two together. Keep the BCS formula so you still get the human perspective in there. On I think the BCS kept both polls, the coaches and the AP poll together that were part of it. But you take out this whole little holy shroud college football committee where everyone has their own agenda, right? So they had to meet, watch the games all last weekend, and then decide who are the best four teams. It's like, I don't know, it seems old school, like unnecessary to have this committee that has to decide things. Why don't you just have it, I just keep the BCS formula, and take the top four teams. I don't know what was so hard about that, but they had to change it up. Four teams is okay, but obviously I would prefer eight. Obviously I would love to have it where you get the top, the winners of the Power Five conferences get in, and then you'd have three at larges. I'd love it if they play 12 or 16. Every other football division has a playoff, except for the bowl subdivision, obviously the top one, is they cannot give up their bowls. They love those you know, Quick Lane Bowls and those, you know, Levi's, Sacramento Poinsettia Bowl and whatever it is. So, it is what it is. I think the committee has the four teams. This year was easy. Three undefeated is a one, one loss team. But you never know what could happen if you would have, say, the top eight teams. Twelve teams. But, you know what, they'll give in to the, um human interaction, they'll give in to what the fans want when this TV contract is up. I think it's probably another like five years because I think they signed an eight-year contract with ESPN. Anyways, it'll be interesting. I'm really looking forward to see Clemson, Ohio State. I think that'll be a pretty fun game to watch and see how that goes. LSU, Oklahoma, meh. I don't know. We'll see. LSU just looked awesome all year long, so obviously I've picked them versus Ohio State in the final, just because I think Clemson is totally untested. They could be really good, but they played in their championship game, they played number 24 Virginia, who goes off and plays in the Orange Bowl. I mean, that's just a crock, but that's what you get with bowl tie-ins, and the ACC is just a, just a total fraud conference this year. Only one good team. So it's just funny that Clemson goes to the playoff, Virginia goes to the Orange Bowl and gets this massive payout. And they're probably going to get they're wiped off the face of the earth just like Clemson destroyed them yesterday. Oh, well, hey, that's what they get. That's how the system is foolish. Whereas, now, move on. It's not going to change for years. Talk about Michigan now. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably the worst matchup I could have wanted. It's got the big fan bases. Alabama, Michigan. You know, but it's like, ugh. I'm, I'm, it's, it's probably me and the pessimistic side. Coming off getting destroyed by Ohio State again. And thinking that we're just not going to care about the game and getting blown out again. We're playing a quality opponent just like we played a quality opponent last year in Florida. And you could tell Michigan just didn't care. You had captains, captains of the Michigan football team sat out the bowl game to get ready for the NFL. I mean, that really says something to, I think, to the team in that way that the captain... Didn't even want to play in that game, and he went, ended up going undrafted, good old Karan Higdon. Uh, he tried to, you know, he was looking out for his best interest, but it's like, oh, when your captain does that, oh, that hurts. So we'll see what happens now. You're kind of wondering how many Alabama players, because that, obviously Alabama's more skilled than Michigan, how many of their players are going to sit out? Are they going to have Michigan players sitting out? I don't know. So you always kind of wonder about that. Um, Uche, I think, the linebacker for Michigan, said he was going to 
go to the draft as a junior, but he was planning to play in the bowl game, so that's at least a good beginning. Hopefully that'll be a, um, you know, the dominoes. Hopefully people will stick around and play. But just looking at the matchup, this is the last team I really wanted to play. Alabama, I don't know how they weren't picked for an at-large game. They, the committee picked Penn State to play it as an at-large. I'm surprised they didn't pick Alabama. I mean, maybe they maybe there's probably some balance they have to play, but Alabama's number 9 and Penn State's number 10 in their rankings. I'm surprised they didn't take Alabama, but it is what it is. So, I, honestly, outside of the championship games, I think Michigan versus um, Alabama is the, obviously the biggest non title game I, obviously you you can throw in there your new year's six games like your rolls bowl and stuff i'm sure fine 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 but it's a it's gonna have a big draw on abc on new year's day so hopefully michigan can play good hopefully they can play good see getting 10 wins is a big deal i'm not holding my breath though so we'll see how it goes what are your thoughts about the playoff committee did they get it right are the best four teams in? Do you like the four-team playoff? Would you like it to change? I would love eight or 12 or 16. Four is okay. Better than two. Let me know your thoughts. And what do you think about Michigan versus Alabama? Do you think Michigan's just looking at another blowout? Or do you think with a month-ish of preparation that they can get there and be ready to play? I guess it's actually three weeks. But, you know, is Harbaugh going to be able to change the narrative? It's kind of a win or not right so if you lose then michigan can't get the big win harbaugh can't get the big win if you win it was a terrible alabama team they had two losses this year three if we would beat them so there's the worst alabama team in a decade so you really can't win right so i'd rather just win the game and then they can say how our win was worthless hopefully lots of alabama players sit out that'd be great oh one more thing a lot of people ask me about this pillow <laughs> when I do the Michigan, Michigan Ohio State game, I don't know if you can see. It's a Stanley Cup champion pillow. This is not an Ohio State pillow. Yeah, I grew up in the late '90s when the Wings won back-to-back -back cups in '97 and '98 and 2000. I think it was two and 2008. So yeah, it's a Stanley Cup pillow. Yeah, so it's not an Ohio State pillow. Just for those people, I always get a couple people like, "What's that red pillow?" It's a Stanley Cup pillow. <laughs> All right. Hey, appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. And as usual, the Ohio State video went like whoosh. So I guess I can make good Ohio State videos. Last year went out. Did great. This year did very well again. So thanks for all the views. Thanks to the new subscribers. Let me know your comments about the playoff and what you think about Michigan. As always, talk to you later and go blue.